We're surrounded, but we won't surrender. This was the last message from Palestinian fighter Hussam Slim. He urged Palestinians to fight, but was killed shortly after in an exchange of fire with Israeli forces. He and another fighter spent their last hours here, surrounded in this abandoned house in the old city of Nablus, north of the occupied West Bank. Nassim Zaloum, who lives nearby, says local people pulled out the bodies of the two men. Then they found that of a third fighter. They pulled the two from inside this room. This is one of the places where they used to gather. See, their beds are here. They took the bodies from under the rubble, and then later on, we noticed a third body outside the room. Undercover Israeli forces entered the city's busy markets before midday on Wednesday, followed by reinforcements. My husband thought they were locals. They even told him, Assalamu alaikum, and entered. He thought they were going to the restaurant nearby. Although the Israeli forces say they killed three wanted suspects, they alleged committed shootings. The raid claimed the lives of several other Palestinians, of whom most were just going about their daily lives. This 72-year-old man went to do some grocery shopping before he was shot and killed. Hundreds of people came to hospitals to identify those who'd been killed, with more than 100 injured, many hoping their loved ones had survived. Funerals are becoming a regular scene for Palestinians in the West Bank. The number of casualties after Israeli raids may vary, but there is one constant, the heartbreak of every loss. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, The Occupied West Bank.